completing the square for question number 30. This is going to require us to use the diamond method. Use the method of completing the square to determine the vertex of f of x equals x squared minus 14x minus 15. Then state the coordinates of the vertex. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically set this function equal to 0. So I'm going to have x squared minus 14x minus 15 equal to 0. So whenever we complete the square, the first thing we're going to want to do is get all of our x's on one side and our numbers on the other. So I'm going to have to figure out, how do I get rid of this minus 15? Well, I'm going to add 15 to both sides of my equation. So I have x squared minus 14x equals 15. However, whenever we complete the square, you know that we have to add a square to both sides of our equation. And the number that goes in the squares would be on the, the same on each side. So here's how we approach. We always take the term in the middle, and we put it at the bottom of the diamond. So I'm going to put this negative 14 in the bottom of my diamond. So I'm going to have negative 14, and I have to ask myself, what's negative 14 divided by 2? Well, it's negative 7 and negative 7. Now, I'm going to take my negative 7s, and I'm going to multiply them together. Negative 7 times negative 7 is 49. And this number right here is what goes in both of my squares. So I'm going to put my 49 in both of them. And now what we're going to do is we're going to factor the left-hand side. What's nice, though, is that if you use the diamond correctly, these numbers will be the exact same. So I can actually factor the left-hand side of my equation to be x minus 7 times x minus 7. And that's equal to 15 plus 49. Well, if you use your calculator, 15 plus 49 is going to be equal to 64. However, mathematicians are very lazy, so we're going to rewrite x minus 7 times x minus 7 as x minus 7 squared. Now that we have our equation nice and written, we can subtract our 64 and bring it to the left-hand side. So we subtract 64, subtract 64, and we now have x minus 7 squared minus 64. And that's equal to 0. But if you wanted to, instead of writing equal to 0, you can replace this and just say y equals x minus 7 squared minus 64. Now that we have our equation written in completing the square or vertex form, we can look at this and say what our vertex is. Well, we know the opposite of a minus 7 is a positive 7. And then I keep my negative 64 as a negative 64. So my vertex is 7 minus 64. And that's how you use completing the square to find your vertex.